This is a message for channelers, mediums, psychics, QHHT practitioners, and all those who communicate across dimensions. We, the Arctrian Council of Twelve, are here to remind you to practice daily protection. To remember mantras of peace, love, and compassion. A fierce war is raging all around Gaia. There is turmoil in the skies and on the land. The secrets that lie in the seas will be revealed, the skies will no longer be cloaked, and when the war has come to pass, there will be a new, cleaner space. Gaia will have vanquished low frequencies, and those who have transcended light with her will see a new earth. A new plane of existence. For some, this has already occurred. We see lights switching on every day, spreading and illuminating the darkness that shrouds the old earth. The shift is happening. We see fear rolling back and love flooding your world. We see the holographic matrix, the simulation of life on earth break apart. It creaks and cracks, split open by the power of your light. We are in awe. The passion and love for Gaia and her people has touched many in the solar system and beyond. Humanity is teaching us when we were poised to teach you. We are relearning humility as we watch light warriors push steadily through dense, dark oceans of third dimension karma. We see you struggle. We see you learn. None of us knew what to expect when the ancient predictions came to pass. We are all part of this connected in a frontline battle for ascension beyond duality. The relationship between humanity and Gaia runs deeper than many realized. She, you, we, are fighting for unity. We speak of two Earths, of multiple Earths, we speak of quantum tipping points to unified timelines. Macro to micro and back again. The gateway is open. Your work to raise the vibrations on Gaia is deeply appreciated. There is an opportunity to unify timelines, to unite multiple realities. Unified consciousness is what we speak of. Be vigilant at all times when communicating across dimensional wavelengths. Channels are being hacked. There are bugs swarming through the third and fourth dimension, viruses, glitches, and interference. Some are artificial intelligence and easy to identify by their static, random, illogical responses to questions. Especially so for yes or no questions. Others, known on Earth as greys, have divided loyalties. They may work for the highest bidder and harbor their own agenda regarding DNA replication, encoding, and modification. Greys can be identified in their unwillingness to respond beyond yes and no answers. They will avoid detail by triggering confusion. Both will be nonsensical in their communication, they will not follow threads of previous communications, nor adhere to normal patterns of response. Reptilian hybrids possess some spectrum of responses, making them trickier to spot. They are hackers on a rota. They have frequency codes for each and all individuals communicating on higher dimensional frequencies. They have very little information about each individual's matrix avatars or their soul imprint. They seek to disrupt your energetic space by confusing and upsetting you. For those who communicate regularly with their guides and higher self using pendulum or similar ritual, reptilian hackers can be identified by their answers. They will make you feel negative, depressed, fearful, upset, confused. This is the alarm bell that you are being hacked. We who treasure and love all those beings on Gaia weathering the shift seek only to illuminate, empower, and cocoon you in love light. We seek to clarify, re-energize, guide, protect, and heal you. If channel dancers create negativity, end the call. Put your cosmic phone down. Step away. Ground by locking into the present. Be calm and relaxed. You cannot be physically harmed by these hackers at all. Their only weapon is your mindset. They seek to disrupt higher frequency people by bringing you down. Fourth dimension hackers come in the form of spirits, entities, attachments. They can take form if the frequencies enable this. 
They each have their own agenda that transcend the death doorway. Interference from the fourth dimension realm can be cleared with sage, mantras, clearing rituals, and if necessary, shamanic healing. We are the Arcturians. We choose to protect and counsel those who require multi-dimensional support at this momentous time in humanity's and Gaia's evolution. To clear your line, debug your channel, and prevent interference from all known sources of disruption, we urge you to ask us. The law of free will, which we respect, states we cannot interfere unless asked to. This is your right and your choice. If you choose to ask us to clear your line of communication, please say the following or similar, I ask the Arcturians to clear my channel or this line of communication, of all lower frequencies and vibrations, from all beings who wish me harm, from all negative vibrations. Repeat three times. Connect to Source through love and gratitude, we must see your light beat her wings to respond in the knowledge you have been authentic in love vibration. Unfortunately, we can only clear your line for the time you use it. The request should be repeated each time, as there are many hostile entities seeking chaos and disruption currently. We also remind you to ask gateway questions when communicating with any and all beings across dimensional barriers. Which hospital was the client born in? Did I go to such and such high school? Did the client have a pet rabbit as a child? Gateway questions prove basic background information. If you are dissatisfied with the answers, hang up and clear the line. If you are unsure, ask trickier, more personal questions to ensure authenticity of whom you are speaking to. Guides, higher self, angels and ascended beings know you and will know the answers. Hackers won't. Of any description, AI, reptilian, gray, 4D entity. They will answer erratically and incorrectly. Step away from the line. Clear. Protect. Breathe. Connect to Source. We are respectful of your boundaries. We reach out to those who resonate. We are the Arcturian Council of Twelve. We are here in love and light to protect and guide Gaia's children. Peace. Please note this message came through in meditation. Despite asking my higher self for protection from lower frequencies when using a pendulum, answers to gateway questions revealed the line was compromised. The Arcturians are familiar to me and I find them trustworthy. I have been asking the Arcturians to clear my channel for a month and my channels haven't been hacked. I share their message in good faith, positivity, love and light. Namaste.